this is between video segments, which uh, I, I have to stop this. Not stop it. No, 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 no. I'm in great form. It's just quite simply, um, with no way to edit them together, really. It takes so much more energy. And if I had three good car batteries, which is three hundred pounds, I'd be able to. Um, I'd be able to do that, but I don't. Um, because even your Christians totally waste your time. Right to the point. Yes. So it's actually really interesting that the 20, uh, 20 apparently the twenty-year-olds are uh, like getting a bit more. All of this precious talk is is just silly. Um, but then twenty-year-olds, with respect to them, don't know anything. That's not disrespectful. In fact. They can be immensely, they can be some of the most creative people on the planet, poetically with words, but wisdom is another matter, it's terribly difficult. Anyway, let's, I'm sounding pious right to the point, because there were two to finish off. Um, oh, they've come and they've gone, they come, because I'm always doing three things at the same time, but definitely then stop for several hours, as I'm going too soon, right to the point. Um, yes, so the first thing is this. Oh, this word hope. Now I've said, thought, and realised, but more importantly, lived this many times. And this is one of my main. Well, it's not a complaint. I know that even your dreadful commentary at, like, Peterson brand. All of these people, intelligently, neither Eric Weinstein or Megan Daum does it, nor Sarah Hayden, which is why I like them. But they'll bandy in a self-righteous way, except they do it so subtly, like, cool guy way. <gasps> I've just seen something. The tide's coming. Fuck. I'm going to have to go. <laughs> I didn't notice that. Am I trapped? Right. Yes, hope. Hope. If you live in a situation for many years, I tried to relate to somebody this morning. Let's just imagine your favourite, your most beloved animal in the whole world, your dog, had been knocked out and was on a life support system in a coma for a decade, and the vet gave the prognosis only 0.1% chance. No, 0.01% chance. She will uh, live. And that situation has pertained for a decade. You've been visiting your creature. After some time, you realise that the worst word, there's only one word that hope, that hurt, hurts. It actually hurts if you encounter this awful Christian word, hope. It hurts. I bet you other people have had that experience. So, unfortunately, talking about such experiences, such, such uh, states of being, you really have to leave to those who have lived it. I'm one. I repeat, the word literally hurts. Because many people actually do end up, for periods of time, in these extremely long drawn out deaths by a thousand cuts and they will find this out for themselves as I say this word is very 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 it literally hurts In modern Britain, can you say that to somebody? 
you know, excuse me. No, it's like, I suppose the Christians, in a way, did start it first. It's kind of brainwashing that you have to follow along with certain people's quite prescriptive versions of how to be. You feel somehow that you're... This is funny, this I'm actually having to go through the sea because I didn't notice. Oops, now, I must not drop my rucksack. Because my phone is in it. Do, 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 do. Ooh, I've got to be so careful. Right, as long as I can get over there, all is well. No, go backwards. Oh, just go this way. In the sea. As long as there isn't quicksand. Anyway, my feet needed cleaning. For God's sake, make sure this phone doesn't drop. Right, that was fine. Do, 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 do. Yes, hope is a terrible thing. Now, right, I'm safe now. Safe, he says. I would have never been unsafe. But, um... The only thing I fear is my... Phone getting damaged. That's not because I'm a phone addict. That's because I'm in the mood to rev out quite good stuff. Yes, the second reason for going to audio has come to me. Somebody should do a study. The thing. I absolutely hate most of all about all of Pasty Landshire. I had no idea how conformist people have become. Now, if the people heard this, they'd, every single one of them would go. What a fool, what an idiot, what a complete and utter blind man. Look, everybody has their unique style, has their magnificent individuality. This, more than anywhere else, possibly in Britain, is a place to come and express yourself. <coughs> I mean, the art is like dire, but it's not about that. No, conformity. In fact, I actually, that's why I wanted to do movement. <laughs> People stare at me because I move differently. And the movement here, it is all this self-satisfied. It's like, and I wouldn't take a film of this. I should, I'm going to, I'm going to one day. There's a certain kind of weight that the, oh this is all ages, <clears throat> but there's a certain kind of way, what's the easiest one to describe? The 50 to 65 year old man, who's semi-retired, almost all of them, or, or having a few weeks off, who's got quite an expensive status vehicle in the car park, who's got a 125 pound knitted cotton smocky thing on or whatever or the expensive cowboy hat and shades which you wouldn't fucking dare wear in high street milton Keynes. but there's a certain posture they have it's a sort of their shoulders sort of roll a bit forward and it's like and they have a certain look on their face it is so conformist. They all have it. All of them. And 
she with him has a slightly different version of this in fact her posture is more shoulders back in fact it's oh, because I'm here holidaying in a place which is associated with kind of a bit of natural adventurism I've reached the apogee of everything and how dare you even think my sunglasses are just the same that Audrey Hepburn wore on the telly 50 years ago. No, mine are a slightly different variety of fashion. It's revolting, but it's, it's actually more the body language and the way people look around. They scan the vista as though the vista owes them something because they've manage to afford. I mean, I'm told I've got no interest at all in any holiday area. I'm not. I just exist wherever I am. And I've only been on hold here for a year and a half for one reason. But anyway, the point, yeah, I mean, I'm told that even an Airbnb in this is just so greedy. It's like a hundred quid a night. Yes, but as I said, the, the conformity. I'm sh shocked by the conformity everywhere. And the younger, I suppose the word hipster's gone out of fashion, but slightly hipsterish kind of, uh, kind of, yeah, but it's more kind of, oh, I'm an urban cowboy, or a, uh, a, I would be a, a seaborne cowboy if I could afford to hire a fishing boat. They have a posture, body language, and a much more kind of... It's a slightly knowing, slightly sick of everything gaze. I'm just the same person I've always been. I have to move quite... I have to dance, basically. If you, if you have... I've spent probably 20% of my waking hours for the last 20 years and actually a bit more than that maybe 30% or 25% uh, 25% doing almost always alone uh, repair salvaging recycling jobs on small uh, holdings um, outdoors in pretty tough terrain uh, very no with I don't want to use machines uh, without machinery Having to use the body to lug around very heavy big gate posts or hundreds of rails to refence something or dig a very deep hole and working in places where you can't get attracted to or, or, or it's just more efficient to use a wheelbarrow to move your tools back and forth. I was doing that yesterday in some very, very, very swampy region. You're constantly having to make a mental calculation as to time and motion regarding your body. You have to use the momentum. If, you, if you're picking up a sledgehammer there and you know that you've got to have all your weight on your foot because it's quite a heavy item, you might pick up some other heavy item at the same time with your other hand. Whereas if you're just tippy-toeing like a fairy through a few tools scattered around on the floor and you go for one particular thing you're thinking okay is there a small thing that as i'm dashing through i can just quickly grab while i'm dashing through it's a constant mental calculation of a dance that's generally how i move no it's not how i move in well, i like to move like that so sometimes i move like that if i'm as i am now doing a few things and people stare at you it's like I'm not extreme in any way. No, because I'm not conforming to this exact kind of whole... And it's, of course, the way people dress. The way people dress their dogs is even more absurd. Um, the whole damn thing. And, um... Yeah, conformity. I had no idea that the... Keeping up with the Joneses 
status obsessed, although every single one of them, I mean, someone's yet, to, you know, they, they, half of them have these great big tank things that someone like Joe Rogan will have popularised. When they live, there's no fucking frost here. You know, it's just a joke. If they're a proper farmer, but there aren't many farms. It's all a conformity. I had no idea. And of course, it requires a lot more energy, even if it's subconscious energy, adhering to this conformity, this conformist paradigm. There goes a definite incomer. It shocks me, actually, how many incomers, sort of 35-year-old, 30, 35-year-old incomers there are, all from the city, Bristol, Brighton, London. And they all put such a lot of effort into the looking fairly au naturel. But they put a lot of effort into it. Just another conformity. Expensive au naturel, even though they quite often have cheap cars or oldish cars. You have to put a lot of energy into conforming. That's another reason I understand now why nobody fights for rights, for change. Every single person you meet, except for the super rich, of course, will speak of, um, oh, it's terrible. There's a terrible housing problem, just as there was in my previous area. But it's even worse here for, for younger people or for anybody who's not on um, basically some way or another grabbing southeastern money, which even the builders are. But they never do anything, and that's because they're putting so much... No, one reason is putting so much subconscious energy into this conforming... the end. At least one may be able to say this, to share this with 20-year-olds... Um, and even some 25-year-olds. Whereas five years ago, no, I genuinely think five years ago, ten years ago, I thought there was no way ever again in history. Hello. Oh, I like your dog's hairdo. Oh, will you tell me about it? I'm doing my audio memoirs. And I, I could call myself a, a... No, I'm not a travel writer. I'm much ruder than that. Oh. I tell the truth of everywhere. Oh, right. Well, this is Doris. She and was a rescue dog. Doris. I love Doris's hair. No, she's beautiful, isn't she? I thought you didn't think you'd be sunbathing in October. It, well, I've lived here for a year and a half. Do you live here? Yes, I do. Yes. How long have you lived here? Uh, 2019. Because I can tell you... And, oh, fact, I was just talking about the recent incomers, but the younger ones... Oh. They're so dull. They just think if they get a natural store bag and go and do yoga <laughs> at Greek that they've become, they've elevated Community. to a new, no, no, to a new level of goddessness. I bet none of them ever have sex, ever. I mean, you can see it in their posture. They're so uptight. But you're like me. You've had enough of the life. It's all bullshit. Just... Just, just, just chill out it. by the just sea, and put your put your put your dog's hair in a exactly. in a dude in a hairband. What's this place called? Beep. About ten miles away to work on a, a lady's small farm, but oh, right. um, beep. <laughs> well, enjoy. Well, the good thing about this one is you can park here. Yes, you can. For free, I mean, I'm not a millionaire. What on the road? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not well, a. I'm not a millionaire. Like, you must be to have a hairdo like that for your doggy. But why not? So what was I saying? Um, she said hi to me first. It's dangerous saying hi. Yes, we have to finish this subject, which is... Yeah, that's why nobody does anything. They don't actually... And of course, the other reason is they don't frighten the horses. It's so categorical. The way people are. So there's no point. I do not have any hope for society whatsoever. None. 
is a bit, or rather 10 years ago I realised this, but it is like, hmm, okay, so if you've got the 25 year olds who are getting a bit more balanced back, and the 20 year olds are even a little bit more punchy perhaps, and let's stop being so utterly self-obsessed, which is, now that's a horrible way of putting it, no, they went inside themselves, it's completely understandable as a response to matters international from about 2010, 12, 13. Right, end of, because that's boring. Um, although nobody simplifies it into that, they all come up with silly other reasons. That's it.